Hey guys, what's up? Don Monty bringing you the second round of our Armor Insurgency campaign. Um, you may remember from the first mission that I was held up in this uh, construction building um, surrounded by enemy forces trying to figure out how to fight my way out and capture the um, the territory points. Um, ooh, bloody hell. As you can see, they are still here. Um, I am still surrounded um, but you might notice from the difference from the first video is I actually have more ammunition now and better equipment um, that's because what I did is when I did the first video um, after I finished it I actually logged off um, the game went to get some food and sort some stuff out in real life um, and then I came back in the game to um, do this video um, but what happens is it puts you back at the main base it doesn't carry on from where you left off so what I did is I figured out how to actually get ammunition and stuff um, and I'm now completely fully equipped um, as you can see um, I've got smoke grenades, uh, pistols, uh, pistol magazines, um, first aid kits, rifle magazines, grenades, smoke grenades, everything that I need to survive or try and survive so we're literally the same place we left off um, nothing has changed other than the fact that I've got uh, more ammunition now so my task is still to take these four squares and capture Anthrakia. Um, as you can see, I am still surrounded. So, and it's still incredibly foggy, which hampers me an awful lot. Now, I've just seen that guy up there. So, oh, every time I lift my head up, I get shot at. So I, uh, I probably made the worst decision holding myself up here in truth, but it's kind of the only really safe place where I get this kind of a, um, this kind of vantage point. Bloody hell! Get down! Okay, fire is intensifying, and I've got no. I really can't see. <laughs> I can see guys running around in the distance. Um, they're sort of moving and dotting about which makes them harder to shoot so they are closing in on my position quite I'm gonna have to try and engage oh I'm getting shot no 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 I'm just gonna heal myself up because I'm a bit blooded what I might do actually is toss a smoke grenade out I know it's foggy, but if I can engage him, I know exactly where he is. He's on the corner. Oh my god! <laughs> oh dearie me. Okay, that was an epic fail. Um, what's probably going to happen now is I'm going to start back at base again, so I'm going to have to come in from another direction, which isn't too bad. Um, <clears throat> respawn back at base because there's only me playing, um, and figure out a new way of coming in now. What I might do is equip myself with a thermal scope um, and give myself a little bit of uh, extra support. So the Night Stalker scope is the one I want. Um, I apologise for the dogs in the background, they will bark at absolutely everything. It does make recording slightly annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, okay, so we'll do the Night Stalker scope. We'll save it. Now, the reason I love the Night Stalker scope is you get um, a whole multitude of different views. So, standard scope, um, night vision, obviously it's not really going to matter at the moment because it's not night. Um, infrared so you can kind of see targets um, lit up like that you can see the helicopters and then you got a red infrared which makes it a little bit clearer um, and then you go back to the normal one so I've got uh, several different sort of visionary um, options to go with um, what I might do is I've just realized 
is I'm carrying an underslung grenade launcher, but I don't have any form of grenade. So I go to vest. I want the three round ones if they do them. 40mm HE grenade launcher. Uh, we'll have to do single ones. There are three round ones. Um, which. For some reason, all my ammo is depleted. That was nice. Have I still got my grenades? No, I haven't. So, what the hell's happened there then? I've got two first aid kits, a smoke grenade, I don't need a chem light, uh, pistol max 3, standout grounds 9, 6, what have I got in here then? 5, 6, oh, I do still have them, okay cool. So what I might do is swap out, uh, swap out the first aid kits, put in my grenades, in my vest, so I've got them handy and then put the first aid kits back I don't need chem lights I... right okay so now we're rocking um, okay so we know that the southern tip is quite heavily surrounded so what I might do is go the opposite and come in around this area up here um, and sort of try and work my way through methodically. Now obviously this would be a lot better if I had people playing with me but um, I'm actually going to try and attempt to do this on my own. This is going to be my challenge. Um, I actually enjoy coming and playing this on my own purely because it just adds to the kind of immersion and it makes you a bit more of a better player I think because it teaches you how to be a bit more um, tactically aware and obviously how to you know engage people if you're on your own in those kind of situations. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to land at these little crossroad, this little dirt crossroad. Um, obviously being careful of the terrain that I don't splat into the ground. So about 200 meters will open the chute. I could open it a little bit lower but I can't really judge very well because of the fog. Um, I've made that mistake before where I've literally just slammed into the ground. Um, I've no idea why it's this foggy. It's, I've never played Armour 3 in this much fog. It's ridiculous. But it adds to the challenge and I'm always up for a challenge so let's do this. Okay so we're on the ground. Bish bash bosh. Backpack on. Okay so we're going to try and make for this little corner here so I'm just going to mark it just so it gives me a rough indication as you can see over there 137 meters so what we'll try and do is we'll try and navigate our way through the buildings um, I'm going to put my minimap on in the corner there so I can actually see what's what um, which is a pretty good sign because last when I parachuted in before I was taking shots um, parachuted in just now and I've taken no shots so either all the enemy have concentrated on the other side or they've not spawned in yet or they're just waiting for me to walk straight towards them and this fog is ridiculous there's no way to change it unfortunately it's set by the mission so um, yeah I'm just gonna have a sneaky look inside buildings although it's not technically inside the red area um, enemies can be literally anywhere. They can be in buildings, outside buildings. Uh, there's a soldier there. So they can be in buildings. They can be outside buildings. They can be uh, in vehicles. I haven't yet encountered a vehicle, enemy vehicle yet. Um, I can hear a guy talking. That's not good. He might be in this building. So I just saw a guy patrolling down the road. There's another guy there. These guys are on alert. Can't see because the bloody grass. Um, oh, hey, yeah, they see me. Dick. 
ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. know exactly where I am the entire time. This makes things so much harder. Headshot, bitch. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't see what's by the trees. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> sneaky son of a bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh. Bugger. Okay, so that's another disadvantage is the fact you're on your own, they can outflank you um, and such. So at the moment, we're proving that playing on your own is incredibly hard. Um, I used to read stories of people saying that Armour 2 was an awful game and COD was better and Battlefield was better, and just no, it's not. Never ever say that in front of me because I'll slap you. Um, Armour is one of the most intense simulation games, military wise ever really um, what we could do is we could go in by chopper which would obviously eliminate the stealth approach but have we got any armed vehicles A virtual vehicle spawner over there. I mean, we could go in armed with vehicles, um, with sort of ground vehicles like these Gorgons, etc. It doesn't clear every single enemy out. Um, <clears throat> it obviously does offer you massive amounts of protection, um, but I'm trying to focus more on infantry combat really than just relying on sort of heavy vehicles. Um, hello. I didn't know what that was. Um, virtual vehicle spawner. So we can literally spawn every vehicle known to man. So what I might do is I might do the American way of combat. Obviously, it's been a tried and tested method in the United States military for a long time. Um, is literally saturate the area and then go in on foot and clear out what's left. It works. Um, but I know I wanted to com concentrate on infantry combat because I'm on my own I'm just, there's going to be so many situations where I'm just going to get outflanked and shot from behind and all the sides and everything so I'm going to use these assets to my advantage I just can't decide which one I want to use um, let's use the Kajman screw it let's use the Kajman Obviously, want to go in pilot because there's only me. Now, the disadvantages to this is with the fog. Um, so I'm literally just going to be blind firing the area, just carpet bombing, <laughs> really. Manual fire. I'm just going to turn the sound down a little bit. So that you can hear me still. Bloody hell. This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so I can clearly see where I'm going because I've got the map marker down. Um, I know it's like 1.5 kilometers out. I literally can't see nothing around me whatsoever. I mean, look at that. It's just... I can just see the tops of buildings and stuff, but... It's absolutely ridiculous. So this is just going to be complete blind firing. Oh no, they shut me down. 
They've literally shot me down. Okay, this is going to be a rough landing, boys. They've shot out my main rotor. I'm going into a hell of a spin. Ooh. I wonder if auto hover will save me. Oh. Okay, well that method's failed. I'm still alive. I'm not injured. Helicopter's knackered. Um, the top rate is busted. Uh, could probably still fire, but again, I apologise for the dogs barking. They bark at anything that moves. Um, yeah. So back to square one, I think. Um, I know we can do this. Our mission will be to take a, f a square. I will take a square. <laughs> It will be done. It's got to be done. I can't fail on this game. Well, I can, but I'm going to try not to. Um. So we'll approach it from this side, which I think is roughly the same area we approached it from before. Um, I mean obviously the air support could have gone a lot better but the fact that I did so much fog I can't see um, from that altitude what's going on I mean I can saturate and I might have hit a few people um, I've hit one guy that was the guy I shot in the head earlier on um, so I mean I could have done it a lot better again I could use ground vehicles but they've just shown that um, they can fight back against um, support so it's literally just going to have to be a case of going on foot um, I mean obviously going to try and survive as long as possible um, and at least try and capture a square in this video <laughs> um, hopefully I can keep this video short um, but I guess it's more entertaining keeping it sort of um, raw I don't like editing videos too much um, it kind of takes the fun out of the actual experience that I experienced. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I have done shorter videos recently. I did Chivalry um, and uh, a Company of Heroes video, which lasted about 20 minutes, which, again, I got absolutely rickrolled in. Um, the reason my guy's running this slow is because he's fatigued. I've got heavy equipment, full backpack on. Um, fatigue is a major issue in this game. By issue, I don't mean problem with the game. I mean problem within the game. Um, the fact that your soldier can get easily fatigued, so you kind of have to play a bit more um, carefully. Because um, obviously if you need to run in or out of a situation and your soldier is fatigued, he's not going to move very quickly, which will put you at real big disadvantage and will increase your chances of getting shot um, so yeah you kinda have to be a bit more careful about the way he plays, see the way he's sort of bouncing up and down he's absolutely shattered bless him but um, from what I figured out with the time um, it's quarter to seven, I believe it's quarter to seven at night um, the way I can tell that is obviously the sun's over in the west um, and it rises in the east and sets in the west for those who never did geography at school so yeah it's running short of daylight which means we might have to rely on night vision at some point it might not be in this video but it might be the next video which is obviously going to make things incredibly difficult again obviously if this fog still remains then that with the company of night time um, is going to make viewing just a little bit more tricky um, so what I'm going to try and do is slowly make my way back in again but the AI seem to have super super night vision or just vision in general um, I can see through incredible thick fog and actually pinpoint my exact location which has always been a problem in armor um, ever since armor 3 the AI have just been ridiculously intelligent um, kind of stupidly intelligent really um, there are mods and stuff that you can do that will kind of um, 
alter the way the AI play, um, make him a bit more sort of normal, make him more stupider. Um, but I think this kind of adds more of a challenge. I mean, it does get to a point where you just get fed up with dying constantly. Um, but I guess the answer to that is is that you just have to be like that. See, shots are coming out. Oh, I see where they're coming from. So we will return fire. Drop him down. I know it's probably cheating using the the crosshairs, but that's just the way I play. I hate playing in first person because of uh, medical problems that I have. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually wounded. Christ, my shots are all over the place. My guy's shouting. I don't know if he's wounded, but he's not actually showing any signs of... What I might do... I switched to F. I might be able to put some grenades down on there, because for some reason they're not reacting to my shot, and there's quite a large patrol coming up. So if we... I have no idea where that went. I have no idea where the hell they're landing. Dropped you. I can't really see because of the grass. The grass is impeding me slightly. Oh, contact left, right, even. Sod off. Um, so I'm going to try and get cover into this little building here and just kind of rest up. Um, just get my fatigue back to normal levels. Ooh, that's a bad idea. Obviously, getting in here is going to be quite fun. So what I'm going to do is pop a smoke grenade down. Actually, I might pop a second one. Fire off a couple of shots. Christ, there's whole patrol of them there. Easy does it. Oh, I hit the ground because I got shot at. Right, now that the smoke's up. Open the door. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Okay, so I mean, this isn't the best scenario because the way I'm surrounded, they can literally bombard this building, but I need to try and get my fatigue up um, and stop my character shaking like a sh dodgy leaf. Um, there's a guy stood there, I might be able to pop. Ooh, okay, he's down, but I'm also taking shots. They are closing in. I need to find a way of getting out. <laughs> oh, this is intense. Obviously, we'd be better if I had teammates. Um, but yeah, challenge is solo. Obviously, if this was real life. I'd have been dead along to bloody hell. They are literally oh, move. They're literally peppering the area now. Um, oh, there's a guy there. Um, okay, this could go incredibly badly wrong. No, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to do... Whoa. Oh, Christ. Are those grenades even firing? I don't see what they're doing. They're not doing a... They're, oh, I think they're bugged. Brilliant. Okay, so white smoke, grenade going out. White smoke, grenade going out. I'm going to use up an exorbitant amount of smoke, I think. I want single shot, don't I? I'm just going to reload. So he could be confused by the smoke, which enables me to drop him, drop him, oop, I missed him, drop him, drop him. Okay, firing start, but I know I'm not out of the woods yet. 
nowhere near out of the woods. There's a guy over there by the trees. As you can see, he's there shooting, dying. Missed him. Missed him again. The hell? I had the crosshairs on him. I've lost him now. And I think my character is injured, but he's not injured enough to require a first aid kit. Okay, so situation is this. I have a guy over there, I have a squad of guys over here, and some guys down the road that are shooting me like buggery. So, second I pop my head out of here, they're going to all open up. If I can actually get out. I can't get out of the bloody door. Door's bugged. Okay, they didn't fire. Yes, they did fire. Might be able to hit this guy while he's reloading. Hit him in the hand. Missed. Got him. Okay, so I'm going to try and move over to this little tree section over to the right. I know there's another guy down there because I showed him on the map. Um, and there's a whole bunch of guys down there, so I think I see him. What I might do is just switch to thermal, see if anything picks up. Okay, nothing showing up on thermal, apart from the snake on the ground. So let's just dart across while we've got the chance. Those guys firing are the ones in the fields in the distance, so... Um, Okay, so we're at the church behind the portal loop. I have to be careful about those guys behind me. <coughs> um, and okay, so okay, there's a guy in the church. That would be one. He thinks I'm over there. Surprise, motherfucker! Fucking hell, I hit him in his backpack, and he's still. <laughs> Bitch. Has he got anything on him? Uh, he's got grenades. I'm going to take grenades and stuff off of him. Uh, I don't need any ammunition. I might need the night vision goggles, actually. If you'll let me have them. Night vision might come in handy later on. Um, has he got anything? First aid kit again, come in handy. Grenade will come in handy. So yeah, we can survive. We'll just nick stuff off dead enemies if we survive that long. That's the plan. Um, so hopefully we can try and take this red square now. So it just means we kind of have to search buildings now and external areas. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm okay. For Oh, not okay, not okay, not okay, not okay, not okay, not okay, not okay. There's a guy behind me. Whoa! Fucking hell. There's a guy also there. I can just see him. Okay, that was um <laughs> that was bad. Um that was panic shooting that guy that fucking just jumped me there. Okay, so no idea where he came from. Probably over there. Right. Just have a quick search. And nick grenades. Grenades are handy. Smoke. Ooh, forty millimeter grenades. No, I'm not taking those because they don't bloody work. Uh, okay, he vanished. That's always the downside to taking things off bodies. 
Okay, so let's get across into this building. Run! Chaffin' Nora. Right. We'll take it nice and steady just in case there's anyone up here. The key to insurgency is clearing out all the buildings you see. Basically, everything that's a solid structure is just the way to do it. Um, making sure that every room is clear, every building is clear, every alleyway is clear, everything needs to be cleared. So, okay, so I can hear a guy shouting, so there's a guy close. Ooh, is that in there? Thought that little thing on the wall was maybe him glitching through. But it doesn't appear to be. Um Okay, let's open it. Oh my god, where the hell was he? Bugger. Okay, well, I'll end the video there. Um it's kind of a good point to end. So you can see the difficulty I have at the moment. Um there's a lot of aspects that is kind of hampering progress here but um, we will return back to base and we'll start again with a new video um, I hope you have enjoyed watching um, please feel free to like subscribe and comment um, if you are interested in joining me in a game um, obviously hit me up on my website Facebook or Twitter the links are in the YouTube description and um, I will see you again for round three and hopefully we can finally take a red square but um, until then take care bye for now